This is the plaintiff, Janisha Martinez. She says she lived with two roommates, and when they moved out, they damaged the apartment they lived in, and the defendant withheld her security to cover their damages. This wasn't fair, and she's here suing him for the return of the $5,000 he owes her. This is the defendant, Nasrallah Nasrallah. He says the plaintiff and her roommates fought a lot, and he's grateful they all moved out. The plaintiff isn't entitled to a refund, because she stiffed him on the last month's rent, and he has every right keeping her money. He's accused of not playing fair. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff says that her landlord has unfairly docked her security because her two roommates were fighting and damaged the place, but the defendant is saying baloney. All three of them were fighting like cats and dogs. It's the case of I ain't taking the fall for the brawl. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Ms. Martinez, tell me what's going on. Well, it all started back in May, um, okay. a- April, actually. My roommate, he got very violent towards um, the quarantine of the pandemic. We lived together for the whole year. Before that, things were normal. How I will go to work, you, you will go to How work. many other roommates did you have? Uh, two other roommates. Okay, and you had lived with them since when? Since December 2008. 19. 19 or 18? Yes, my apologies. This was 2018. Yes. All right. So you'd lived together a long time before the pandemic Mm -hmm. happened. You'd lived together a year and a half and everything was fine. And these roommates, how Mm -hmm. was it that you knew them? One of them, it was my sister. And the other was, yes. And the other was a co-worker of mine that we worked together. We actually grew up together. Uh, We knew each other for a long time, for a decade. Uh, once we started okay. working together, he started dating my sister in and out throughout that decade. <laughs> and okay. once we started working right. together, we got more closer. Okay, and I got it. Decided- so you're living with your sister and her mm-hmm. boyfriend who you've known all your life. And everything's going fine mm-hmm. from December 2018 until the middle of COVID mm-hmm. in 2020. What ha- goes wrong it- during the middle of COVID? It, what, my sister was pregnant at the time, so she was very hormonal. Um, but him, it was just a real, I don't know where he came from because he was never like that. Like I said, we worked together. It was just apparently being, you know, what happened? uh, We were cooking breakfast one morning. Um, he started saying something, uh, something is missing, um, in his room. Um, I noticed things missing in my room. And that morning, uh, it just got out of hand. He threw He threw a plate. I threw a plate like out of because we were like eating in the table. And next thing you know, he sees a can. And as I'm entering my room, he throws the can and it could have hit my head. And instead, because I closed the door, it hit the the door. And yeah. And then I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I remember it was April uh, 15th because it happens to be my older sister's birthday on that day as well. And. I'm like, wow, this is, uh, I don't know what is these energies, what is going on. So I told my sister, I'm going to leave. And I picked up that day and did leave. And they changed the whole locks out of the whole apartment. And I had to like go to it to get my stuff, breaking through a window. And when I saw a couple of my things were missing again, I was like, yo, what is going on? So I was just like angry. So out of there, he got violent and I swung at me and I fell into the closet door and he, he was just like swinging and swinging. It was just a really violent day. And like I said, it had never happened Did you call before. the police? Yes, the police arrived. Well, and I did he get report. arrested? No, he left um, through the back door. So it was, uh, and then at the same time, since I knew my sister was pregnant, when they were asking me, do I want to press charges? And that has never happened, like I oh, said. Oh, okay. So you, sa- you said no to the press and charges, because the fact that he left yes. wouldn't mean he wouldn't get arrested. He eventually should get no, arrested no, if they no. find him. Yes. Right. But so you dropped, me if you I wanna... said, forget it, I don't want to, okay. So then what happens? So is there a decision made, hey, we obviously can't live so, together? Like, how does this go down? I spoke, I spoke with, um, now it's me. Um, we're saying that we cannot live together. So they, they spoke to the landlord and they told him that they're leaving and they're going to use their deposit to live out the rest of the month of May. 
I still, they apparently were looking for a place. They, through a friend of his, they were like in the means of being able to move out faster than I was. It is May and I'm speaking to Nas. I'm like, Nas, um, I don't believe that I could be afford the 1700. It is a pandemic right now. The whole thing is closed. So here I am now seeing that I cannot afford $1,700 by myself. And I spoke with him. He was like, I could give you till uh, September. I told him I would be looking for a place. If I find something, I'll let him know. Um, anything sooner. Okay. Nothing sooner came. They they lived. He told me to pay, if you, if you could see through the receipts in May, since they didn't pay the rent. And we were speaking on the deposit. I asked, okay, they're, li- they're going to live here. He broke things. It was like through him throwing something, he broke the door. Through him slamming his door. Um, op- or abruptly opening it, he, he, the door that's next to his room, he like made a hole in it with a knob from the other door because he opened it so right. hard. And then when he pushed me into the closet, the closet, like I, if you can see it in the bottom, like has like a little dent in it. So these are things right. through his aggressions that he broke. And I let Nas know, Nas, uh, these are things that you're letting him live for free uh, on a deposit when he has to fix things. How is this going to work? Oh, said, I'm sure. N- Wait a minute. When you say you're le- that Nas is letting him be, Mr. Nasrallah? Yes. Did you actually tell those folks, I got an idea. Why don't you not pay me and just live out <laughs> your deposit? Or did they tell you we're not paying you? And you said, all right. You know, I mean, he, he didn't choose for them to not pay him. That's how it worked no, out. I get but that part. tell me then. Right. So then, so then in May, did they move out? No. In May? So no. in May, they, they, they spoke, they told him that they're going to live out the, through the month of May through their deposit. Okay. I, I expressed my All concerns right. to Nas at that time that the deposit in, it says even in the contract lease that the deposit is not to be lived, is to be used to fix any things that the of department course. has to be fixed. And I mentioned that to him. He said, don't worry about it. Then he said, um, "Okay, hold on. Uh, I want to j- see where he says don't worry about that. Slow down, because I want to talk about mm-hmm. that. What day? It was, oh, that was what not text? text? It was not to tre- text. Oh, that was, um, okay. Verbal. All so right. There's no. There's, so that, according this is to you, said, verbally, said, uh, he. For, mm-hmm. Yeah, you end up paying all of May. That's correct? what I'm like leaving. That's what I'm leading up to. Thing. Right. Yeah, so that when I spoke um, to him on that, he he's he came to me. Well, we were speaking because he lives upstairs from me, and I live under him. And there's like a little hallway." for the basement connection. And now we're speaking, I, 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 I paid my rent, the 850, that is my part. And then he said, well, Miss Martinez, Jay, uh, the bank is, our, the deposit is already in the bank. I do not want to touch it. Um, if you pay the rest of the remaining month, your deposit is safe. The whole thing is yours. So, and then I, a few days later, I came up with the 850 and I paid him the whole rent. So I could keep the deposit. Okay, complete. but... But right, you could keep the deposit unless the deposit mm-hmm. isn't going back to anybody because there's damage. Like that's the part that I'm having some confusion mm-hmm. because the point of a deposit is to cover damage. So Mr. Nasrallah, tell me about that conversation she's talking about. What is it you told her about the deposit? Go ahead. Uh, first of all, Your Honor, she never mentioned to me the story about uh, what she's saying now. The whole, whole incident happened, the first interaction uh, was in May, was in June 8th, that when Rick, her sister boyfriend, he started fighting with her and he sent me a letter saying, could you please allow us to use the half security, half of the security until the 15th of uh, May. And I, and I agreed to it. And from hearing them fighting down the stairs and uh, she kicking doors and punching everywhere, uh, Rick and her, uh, and her sister had no damage in their room. All the damage was in the living room, in her bedroom, and the kitchen. And I heard her many times kicking doors, screaming. So I didn't even interfere with that at all. But the security she's talking about, she told me that she's going to move. She never said that. And the text message is saying, I told you, and I told her, you never told me that. You have no evidence of it. You never told me that. And she said, okay, whatever. And uh, she moved on. But the first time she told me about moving on and moving out, was on August 12th. Okay, so she gave you, the first time she gives you a definite moving date is on August 12th and says she'll be out by the 1st. No, Your Honor, on August uh, 12th, she said, I may move out soon. 
but I'm not sure. And the 15th, when she told me it's official, I'll be moving out in the end of the month. Yeah. Do you have any proof, Ms. Martinez? I see in the text messages where you say, I'm going to have to find another place. I'll let you know. I'm going to have to find another place. I'll let you know. But of course, that's not notice because notice is I'm leaving on X date. That's what allows him to re-rent it. He knew it as well. I told him all the way in May. And as you can see, the proof lies between here. On May, why did I pay to, to rent? You seem to think that you're able to stay in the apartment and just pay your part of the rent, but you're technically not. Now, I know there may be a, an eviction freeze and whatever else in your state, but I'm just saying, technically, no, because you picked your no, roommate, and I, and I you moved in that. there with them, and the entire each each roommate is what we call jointly and severally mm -hmm. liable for the full amount. He could sue you for the full amount. He could sue Ricky for the full amount. He could sue your sister for the full amount. He could sue whoever he wants for the full amount. And all of you, you can't say, wait, but I'm, you can only sue me for a third. No, you're a unit. I keep hearing what you're saying he said, and I keep hearing what he says he said. What I'd like to see is some proof of what you say he said. Because I've looked in the text and I don't see that. You tell me, well, the proof of it is that I paid it. Who in their right mind would pay it? Well. You know, somebody's supposed to pay it. Um, well, if he's maybe if, if I would Ricky enough, is saying but, that he's know. living off the deposit, if he's saying that he's paying Did his you? month of rent through his deposit, that means right. that his month is paid in May. So that means that I only have well, to pay now that's a much, that month. That is a much better argument that Ms. Uh, Martinez is making right now. Did you say to Ms. Martinez he's using his... Uh, security deposit in order to pay rent. Your Honor, on June 20th, I, Ricky, when he told me he could not move on, out on the 15th, he's going to move on the end of the month, I told him you have to pay half for the 15 days that you're going to stay, which is half half of the month, 425. Can I ask you a question? When was the last time the sister and her boyfriend paid rent? What month? I, uh, the last time they paid the, the half month, the, uh, which is 425, on June 20th. Okay, so in May, did they pay their rent? Uh, in May, they, they, they paid the rent, yes. They paid how, how? much in rent? They gave her the 850 and she gave me 1700 altogether. So and then in June, in when, June, stop. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You had stopped talking. Stop talking. Don't interrupt me. You said earlier that you told them they could use their security deposit. What month did they use their security deposit for? He used it for... Uh, uh, half a month in, uh, in June because he was supposed to move on June 15th. I thought you said he paid 15th. you 400 and so I thought you said that he paid you 425 in June. 425, Your Honor, for, uh, for, from 15, June 15th to June 30th because he moved on the end of the month of June, actually in July 1st. When did your sister and uh, her boyfriend move out? July 15th and the day that they told him that July they were not there. July 15th. Okay, so mm -hmm. hold on. So according to you then, they paid May. They paid half of June. So that takes us to the 15th. And then they didn't move out until July 15th. So it's that month, June 15th to July 15th, that you let them live their security? They lived their security in, in June, Your Honor. Okay, so they lived their full security. Let's try this a different way. They lived their full security. Yes, and they needed 15 more days. And you told them that they could. And they told them they could, but they have to pay for it, which is 425, half half of the month they owe. Because every month, he and his girlfriend, they pay 850. So now they're going to stay for two more weeks. So you have to pay two, 425, which he did. Then they didn't, right? They stayed even longer than that, right? No, they moved on July 1st, Your Honor. Okay. So, Ms. Martinez, you pay your full rent, or did he give you a rent break? On, on May is when they actually gave him the notice that they're not going to be paying the rent. And that's why I paid. Usually when we were paying it all together, we will get the 1700 full receipt. Since they announced him that they were going to li live off their deposit in May, I paid my 850 to Nas. That's why I have a receipt on a certain date for 850 Then days went by. I, I, I was speaking because he lives upstairs. We were speaking. And he said, Ms. Martinez, I do, I, I, I don't, they're living their deposit, but I want to make sure you keep the deposit. So just pay the full rent and the deposit is yours. To me, that made sense. Cause like you said, I'm gonna have the apartment. It's mine. Why not keep the whole rent? Now I asked him, 
in that statement as well. You keep saying, wait, you just use the phrase, keep the whole rent or keep the whole deposit. But you you understand what a deposit is, right? You don't have a guarantee that they're going to give it back to you if there's damages. And that's why I asked him this question. If there's damages, how are you letting me keep, hold on, who's going to take care of that damage when it was done by the person you're letting live here off their deposit, who you agreed to? That didn't make sense to me. He said, do not worry about okay. that because Rick said that he's going to fix it. I said, OK. OK. And if you and see I do my see text, several in- texts where you keep saying to him, Rick will fix anything Rick broke. Rick will fix anything Rick broke. Well, Rick left and he didn't fix anything. Right. And you're claiming all that was done by Rick. Um, and you actually claim it back then. Can I say one thing you know about Ricky and the damage? Yeah, sure. I live upstairs and I heard her going into the apartment door myself and she was kicking the living room uh, closet doors by herself i mean she claimed that how do you Ricky, know how do you maybe, know who was doing it? how could you possibly know who because was kicking the door? she was screaming as the, she came from the hallway door she was screaming and yelling and she went into the, the i think she forgot the keys so she went into uh, the, the apartment door which is a fire rated door heavy door and she opened it and got cracked and the bedroom, the, the her bedroom door, I don't know, I wasn't, I mean, I'm not sure who's, who the result of their fight, it's her or Ricky. But the closet door and the, the apartment door, that's hers. I was upstairs. And I heard You know what the problem the is, Mr. Nasrallah, is that you, and I, and I get why you did that, because you're doing what you can. You're trying to get rent where you can. You're trying to, I understand that. But... You want to have your cake and eat it too. You want to deal with them like they're separate people because you're making deals with Ricky and the and the sister and you're you're, you're 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 I'm sorry, don't interrupt me. You're making deals with them about what they can do, what they can pay, what they have to fix and you're treating them separately, but you don't want me to treat them separately. And but I understand why you're just trying to get what you can get in rent because at the end of the day you still have to pay a mortgage and you don't want to be stuck with The bill, I I understand. I find that based on the facts of this case, you're not entitled to the entire security deposit. There are damages there, and nobody's ever entitled to the security deposit when there's damages. There's a problem, okay? There are damages, and so you don't get to have that part back. But, 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 there is something going on here that makes me a little bit unsettled, which is the how much Mr. Nasrallah got involved in treating the two sets of tenants as though they were different and negotiating the security deposit with the other side and saying, okay, live it out here, pay me 425 here, do this over there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and that, that does kind of bother me because when you're doing that, then you're, you're kind of okay that you spent their part of the security deposit however you wanted to spend it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order Mr. Nasrullah to pay $1,275, which is just the part that you ended up having to pay for them because he didn't end up making them pay and got separately involved in negotiating rent from each of you separately instead of staying hands off and saying, I don't care, you guys work it out. You're good. Because if he didn't act that way then, then he can't act that way now. $1,275 verdict for the plaintiff. If I may ask something? If I may ask something? Hello? Mr. Nazraha, how do you feel about that? Are you are you okay with it or, or not? I disagree. I disagree because the judge didn't take in consideration the amount of repairs that was done in the apartment, the doors and the walls and the labor. And still I have a bedroom door that's fire rated door is not fixed. Well, anyway, that's the judge's decision. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to live with it, Mr. Nazraha. Sorry. Uh, Ms. Sorry. Martinez, you wanted to say something to the judge at the end of the case. What would you have said to her? I have a lease that says that I signed it on the 28th and that I moved in on August 28th. So I was long gone before September 1st. All I did was tell him that I will clean up the place nice and spick for him because I do understand that I, I gave him 15 days ahead of notice when in Jersey, if you're living month to month, it is allowed. And that is, yeah. I looked it up. Listen, that's the bottom point line question is, what has this done? L- let me ask you, what has this done for your relationship with your sister? Are you still- Nothing. Me and my sister okay are with fine. Her? Yes. You are. Okay. I just saw her yesterday. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. I'm glad of that.
All right. Well, anyway, that's the judge's decision. Twelve hundred seventy dollars you get back and that'll do it for the case. OK, Doug. Well, look, in situations like this where you've got multiple roommates and one or two of them leave and one is stuck and then the landlord deducts the money and all of this. Um, if one tenant gets socked with a disproportionate amount of money, that tenant can then go against the other roommates after a case like this to recover at least a portion so it's divided evenly. I mean, that is always the point. So it may be that you end up with two court cases, one where the landlord sues one tenant and the second where that tenant brings the other tenants into court. Can I sue my neighbor for constantly putting his leaves and grass cuttings on my property? I've told him many times to stop doing this. I'm tired of cleaning up after him and I want to handle this problem before I lose my cool and do something I regret. Well, definitely don't lose your cool and do something you regret. That's, that's silly over leaves. So yes, you can sue your neighbor for doing that. That's technically a trespass. Right. But if I were you, I would make sure to get it on video so that it's not your word against theirs. And I would try to get it on video two or three times before I file a lawsuit. That way all your ducks are in a row. Right. That's the perfect way to do it. Right. Right. And certainly it is a trespass, even if the guy doesn't even go into your yard, if he chucks the Yeah, bags if he's just chucking his, the yeah, if he's, if he's putting he's his trespass. debris on, yeah, exactly. Not only that, but he potentially could have criminal liability for littering. And yeah. in, in virtually every state, and certainly even in Florida, it can be a felony if you put something that's 500 pounds worth of cutting. I'm sure it's much more somewhere. subtle than that. It'll end up just right. being leaves and nothing <clears throat> right. else. So, you know, right. I, I, but um, do you remember? Uh, there was a Mad TV spoof years ago. Oh, it was the first yes. time that I was ever spoofed. It was like 15 years ago. Yes, Yvonne Criddle. The character, character from right? Mad TV right? she was plays hilarious. a litigant. She was hilarious. In Look that up on YouTube. A lawsuit about leaves being tossed being into, tossed into her yard. It was, it was uh, very good. Yeah.